Hey everyone, I am here with Corey. Say hi, Corey. Hey, how's it going? And this is going to be just another really quick update video to show everyone what we've been working on. And uh, so we'll just dive right in and uh, cover what's been changed. Uh, Corey took the time to clean up these input buttons for the touch mode uh, uh, or touch input overlay system for both the not pressed and pressed versions of each of these keys. And while he was cleaning it up, he also switched. These buttons used to say A and B because in the control pad mode, those were the appropriate letters for the buttons. But in the case of the keyboard, it's Z and X for the uh, basically the action buttons. So he updated that as well. And then Corey did a bunch of other updates to the art. So let's start going through that. Um, the all of the art now that is uh, that exists for the cave level is all cleaned up now. This is the uh, gargoyles when they're hiding and hanging upside down from the ceiling in the cave. And uh, we, he also updated the spider files. Oh, it looks like it closed. Okay, well I'll open that one second. Let's see here. So we have the hero itself, which Corey updated. He cleaned up most of the frames, except for the death, because we won't need that cleaned up anytime super soon. But the other really cool thing, aside from just all of the uh, frames being nice and cleaned up, is the, uh, you might notice now, he's actually got a gauntlet on, which is a big part of the, the uh, plot of the game. And the cool thing is it's on a character map. So at the beginning of levels, he'll start without the gauntlet and you'll see he has a wristband there. And uh, in the plot of the game, it's a magic wristband that when he collects enough energy of a certain sort, then that wristband basically generates or transforms into a magical gauntlet uh, of a different type for each level eventually. We only have the one fire-based version right now but eventually each level will have a different one but anyway so that's how so now we have that working in game as well where he starts the level without a gauntlet and then when he grabs the power up after he earns it then the gauntlet appears uh was there anything else for this particular spider object Corey? uh no that's okay. pretty much everything i got done for this guy so. okay so let's go back here and then he also updated i i had just made a scribble for the throwable dagger which is uh made out of bone so cory cleaned that up and he also cleaned up both of the gargoyles which were just the really really loose uh scribbles i had made to get the gargoyle working so we'll be showing you i mean as we'll go to that right now and show you how the cave is looking let's see I can't remember. I think I have the game muted right now so that when I make videos, it doesn't make loud noises in the video viewer's ears or in my ears. Yep, it seems like that's still the case. But anyway, so, oh yeah, and you also updated the bats. He, he made a quick tweak of the bat to make them match the gargoyles better. And if you look carefully when another bat comes, there's a little claw on the sort of elbow joint of each wing that just makes it look more aggressive and see uh Corey also made the new fire effects and we used an inverted upside down version for the uh the bash attack and now there are three visually distinct levels of power so if i kill more enemies ouch if i would if i don't die first oh i died <laughs> <laughs> Let's retry that. So anyway, if I get enough power, you'll be able to see the different power levels. Let's see here. That's better. Oh. Oh, he threw the dagger at me. One more enemy and I'll get another power up if I grab it. There we go. So that you can't see a difference because it's only coming out more. It's not changed its graphics, but it will next time. Let's see. There we go. It's a little bigger. And then it gets one bigger still in a moment. Nice. 
There we go. Yeah, one more power up and it'll be bigger still. I've got to fix that eventually. Oh, we're at waterfall spot. That's nice. Ah, ah, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> there we go. That's the biggest one. So anyway, take that. So yeah, so Corey clean up the bats, the gargoyles, the throwable dagger. Um, I think that's it for this level. So now all the art is final for that. Um, I think we should just leave this the way it is. This is an absolutely... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was about to say, the best part is... Yeah. I mean, you don't want the you lose screen to be rewarding anyway, so... Maybe we'll just switch this right. to a frowny face? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. That's it for now, and then let's look at the uh, swamp level. Which I think is still my favorite level because of the variety, and you just did such a great job, not only graphically, but um, it's just got a lot of variety, especially once we switch out the um, flight patterns of the uh, the insects to do that kind of diagonal zigzag thing. Oops, I'm, mm -hmm. I forgot I'm supposed to survive long enough to get to the fishmen. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a really charming level. I love the frogs. That looked like a bug up there with the... Let's see. One of the little red energy balls looked like it flew perfectly horizontal from the side of the screen. I don't know where that came from. Ouchie. Oh, that's a good point, too. I, it looks like I need to program it to make sure that the punches do more damage. Oops. This could take another couple tries here. Um, the punches when you have the firepower should be doing more damage. When you're at full firepower you should be able to kill oh, right. even the toads with one hit. Yeah, I so, think we got uh, it visually working but we didn't uh, right. add that additional nice. All right. HP hit. Right. But the game is and definitely still, getting more Yeah, fun. and, and like an idea we discussed too was like potentially when the gauntlet gets more and more powered up we could we could do something with yeah. know, the graphics for it to make it look like it's charging more or look right like, yeah you know or, or uh i think you had mentioned possibly a fire effect that yeah a fire particle effect something. that comes out so depending on what kind of gauntlet ah uh, it goes through you when you're when, that's interesting yeah i think the main change here was just the the fishmen i had to update their their spitting Poison Don't, thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yellow. Well, oh yeah, yeah. That's what. It, yeah. So that was on screen, everybody. So you saw it, right? The right. rewind yeah. the video a tiny bit because I didn't mention it. But before the um, the little poison spit that the fishmen shoot out was purple, and we realized from technical constraints on the what's going to be the real uh, classic Amiga computer version of this game, uh, we couldn't use those new colors for the spit. So uh, Corey changed them to be yellow. Um, which uh, which looks great and shows up better, so that'll definitely work. So, um, what were the was that it? Um, I think we covered I, most I, of it, but I feel like we're forgetting something. Uh, oh, uh, I should mention in the actual quote unquote code itself for the events, we did add it before it only supported two visually distinct power levels for the fire power, the fire gauntlet. Mm -hmm. And now it's uh, three. And what yep. I did was I made it so that you get the first power and it changes it to the fire look. Um, and it only still goes out forward a tiny bit when you swing. And then when you get the second power level, it doesn't change the graphic at all, but it flies out a little bit farther and faster. And then right. the third power level, it changes to the second power level graphics. And then the next one, it'll just go out a little further. And then finally for like power level five and six, I think, or five and beyond, maybe, um, then you're at the most powerful looking mm -hmm. graphics that are the biggest and therefore also have a bigger collision box. So it's easier to hit enemies or hit multiple enemies. Um, and, but what it should be doing is doing more damage, obviously, as you get more powerful as well. So I'll have to make sure to update the code soon to make that, uh, 
to make that the case. Uh, but I, I guess that's it, right? That that was um, yeah, pretty much for yeah know, this game itself. I, I've right. still got the plans for um, you know updating the visuals on the first level. I think I'll right. leave the background the same way. I think it's it's fine as it is. It, it matches yeah. all the other ones pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, just the foreground stuff and, and things like that, just to get them matching the style a little bit better of what we've done in the right. later levels. So right. other than that, I mean, uh, uh, it, it'll be taking it into the new territory of yeah, bosses of and features yeah. and bosses and things like that. So. Yeah. so that's the stuff to come. We've got four different bosses to create, actually technically kind of five. Right. And then uh, there's also the um, cinematics uh, scenes we have to sort of storyboard out and then make the final art for. Mm-hmm. And each level needs its own power. So right now we have the fire power potentially done. Right. We've got to basically design and do the graphics for. And we don't just want it to look different. The behavior is going to be different too. So we're going to... Uh, add some custom code to each level to make that particular power for the gauntlet uh, behave differently to affect gameplay. Oh, yeah, there were other things that we did talk about. I don't think publicly yet we're going to be adding uh, a couple new moves to the player, which will not only uh, um, just enhance gameplay, but also make the fact that you get a different power per level. It, like it'll It'll make a more impressive gauntlet based magic um right yeah. so yeah a lot of cool stuff coming but uh, that's that's where we currently stand we've also been working hard updating our website getting that ready um it w- we thought it would have happened already but we're still preparing and trying to schedule to be on a uh, fairly popular video channel of a retro and amiga specific um sort of a podcast or, or video show and uh, we're we're doing we're just preparing everything we get a nice teaser trailer for the other game that is not yet publicly announced uh, that's doing that that's being developed right now by uh, a, a, an exceptionally good programmer that runs on actual Amiga computers uh, it'll run on an Amiga 500 as long as you have that um, 512k memory expansion um very very well and uh, that, so that game is progressing beautifully and we've got a, a teaser video and we're going to be making the public uh, uh trailer or public uh what is that called like a reveal public reveal trailer uh, mm-hmm. during that um presumably it's going to be a live stream so we'll see and uh, we also have a playable demo of the game that we're going to send him that he can actually play during the live stream as well um so basically, we're just doing a lot of stuff. Besides working on this game, we're doing a lot of stuff in, in preparation of that show. And this game also will be showcased on that show as well. And of course, we'll announce on our um, you know, Facebook page and all that stuff, and uh, through the YouTube channel, we'll make a video announcing when we'll be on that person's uh, uh, video live stream. So I think that's about everything as far as updates. Did you have any other thoughts, Corey? Or no, I believe that pretty much covers it. Oh yeah, I, I did just remember one last thing. There was a bug that Corey spotted. The um, the little orbs that fill up with the magic energy when you collect them, they were not oh, properly yes. um, updating or going away once it filled up and it generated the power up for you to collect. They were stuck in their last frame of the sort of disappear frame and so and they weren't resetting and filling back up so uh, we found and fixed that bug as well so anyway that's it for now thanks very much for watching